yeah well we get started let other students come and join a demand last class we talked about or defined what is demand the we first talked about the market market is group of buyers and sellers it need not be any specific place we already discussed and the market is a place where buyers and sellers meet and uh, the behavior in the market is defined by the supply and demand and demand is the first term that we have talked to say that any product has demand first of all there should be a desire among the buyers to buy our product and they should be willing to pay for us and the ability they should have to pay for us that means they should have enough money to pay uh, for us then only we can say our product is having demand in the market this we have already discussed in the previous class now demand curve demand curve you know you have two things one is the price of the item the other one is quantity of the item uh, the price of the item is in the vertical axis the quantity of the item is in the horizontal axis and if you plot let's say i, I know i'm selling a chocolate um, at three dollars per chocolate if i sell there are no buyers at all whereas if i reduce the price to 2.5 dollars i am able to sell two two chocolates if i reduce the price to two dollars i am able to sell four chocolates and so on as i keep reducing the uh, price i see that the sales increases i am able to sell more the demand for the product is high <laughs> so demand curve is basically to tell the the relationship between the price of the product and the quantity that is demanded in the market so quantity of demand with respect to the price is given by the demand curve in fact uh, putting the understanding of demand curve in the form of a uh, statement uh, gives law of demand law of demand states that the other factors being constant ceteris paribus the price of the the price and quantity of the demand of any goods and service are inversely related to each other that means when the price of the product increases the demand for the same product will reduce we have something called uh, uh, you know ceteris paribus ceteris paribus is a latin phrase meaning other things being constant there are many factors which will affect the demand we should not consider the factors affecting the demand we, we keeping all other things remaining constant you study the difference or uh, the the variation of quantity demanded with respect to price that relationship is given by demand curve and law of demand so demand curve slopes downward because ceteris paribus lower the price higher the quantity demanded it's a common phenomena like we know when the price is cheaper we would like to buy little extra that fact is uh, you know narrated by the demand curve as well as law of demand right what are all the factors which will affect the demand that's called determinants of demand here we would like to have some um, what what do you call we would like to have some interaction you can unmute yourself and then tell in your opinion what are all the products which will affect your uh, uh, you know the need the demand of the product Sir, one second. Can you repeat the question? What are all the determinants of products? Means, what are all the factors that will affect the demand for a particular product? Sir, based on season, too, sir. Based on seasons, which the product came. Sorry. Seasons, sir. Ah, season. Very good. Okay. 
a season uh, uh, is a factor that affects the demand very good is it vamsi who is speaking yes sir okay uh, others are there in the meeting or they have switched on and went back for taking bath Sir, yeah, I'll let me call it out. Akash. Akash. Akash is not there. Anirudh. Yes, sir. What are the factors sir, that uh, uh, affect the sir, success rate of the product? Sorry. Success rate of the product. You are not audible, man. Sir, is it my success rate of product, sir? Success rate of product, huh? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, good. Nachiket? Yes, sir. Nachiket? Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. What is the question, Nachiket? So you are also not online. Kumaran. Yes, sir. What is the question and uh, what is your answer for that? Uh, price of that product, sir. What is the question and what is the answer? Factors affecting demand, sir. Very good. Okay. What is your answer? Price of that product. Okay. Quality How price will affect made. the demand? Sir, uh, life span of, of the product. Okay. Hello, sir. Sir, competition in the market. Yeah, competition in the market. So, can Shanmuk I add a point? Shanmuk? Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. What is the question, Shanmuk? Sir, uh, factors of working demands. Okay. What is your answer? Uh, sir, is production rate. Production rate will affect the demand? No, sir. Is it? Uh, it's, no, sir. Uh, you... you can you explain? Abhilash is here. Abhilash is absent today, right? He's not there in the group. Okay. Uh, Vaishak? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, supply of the product, amount supply. of product that is available will affect the demand. Okay. 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 Yeah. Keshav Kumar is uh, ah. taste and preference of consumer affect the uh, demand of the product. Keshav's answer. He sent in the chat. I prefer uh, 
uh, voice chat in case you have any difficulty in connection you can send your answers in uh, the meeting chat but the problem is often when i am delivering online lecture asking questions i may not be able to go back and uh, uh, see sometimes okay so market trends murthy okay sir increase in number so of quality buyers. of the product and availability of the product uh, saumya kumar sir i replied competition in the market competition in the market uh, somebody said can you think of something else sir i said only Soumya Kumar said something else here. Sir, I am Soumya Kumar Jai, and I said it. Soumya Kumar has not said anything. Manish Kumar Singh said, "Sir, I came only four minutes late. Please give me attendance." <laughs> My God, people are coming for attendance. Yes, sir. sir only It's four minutes late. Shame for me. Sir, uh, no, sir, no, sir. Consumer taste also, sir. Sir, I I already give the answer, sir. Huh. Just for not disturbing you, I just put in chat box. Sir, can I add a point? Yeah. Fashion. You are Manish, right? No, I'm Pranav. Pranav. Yes, sir. Ah, please. Ah, please. Fashion. Fashion, am I audible? Yeah. Fashion will affect the demand. fashion yeah good sir 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 life has been life has been of product life span yes sir life yeah, span of good. a product very good life span will affect the uh, demand of the product good sir how much we promote that product will also affect. how much we promote that product i uh, have marketing and advertisement very good yes. Sir, one Sir? more point. Uh, safety also. Safety, very good. Sir, I have a doubt. Uh, no yes, supply sir. chain. Sir, somebody uh, is having a doubt. Uh, we'll clarify it. Sir, it depends on which time the product is released. Also, is it a doubt or suggestion? Ha, I'm asking. It depends. Yeah, what is the doubt? Uh, if some product is released on some month or some date, it depends on the time. Uh, see, you should understand. I have some problem with my earphone. If I put a earphone, I will be able to hear well. But uh, when I am talking, you, you are not able to hear because that uh, uh, the pin is not working for mic properly. So when you talk, you should talk louder so that I can hear. Do you think I am talking as I am talking in the phone? No, I am talking as if I am talking in the class. Oh, That's why you are able to hear like clearly. So when you talk, you, you see. If I talk like this, like you know, uh, yes, yeah, tell me. Will you be able to hear this? Normally, when I talk in phone, I talk like this. Are you able to hear me now? Yes. Yes, sir. You able to hear? You are able to comprehend what I am speaking? Not properly, sir. Yeah, same problem I have now. So when oh, you people talk, talk louder. then only i can hear properly yeah sir i am asking i am asking that uh, time depends which time the product is released depends on the product value or product consumption i am asking that Sir, which time that the product released is uh, like it can do anything for the product? I'm asking. Time when the product released. Uh, when the product is released. Yeah. It depends on uh, like uh, it varies from cost or anything. I'm asking. Your question is not clear to me. Now I'm able to hear, but I'm not able <laughs> to understand. I'm not telling right. Uh, it's some time or it's some season when product is released, sir. for that season that the product is right uh, so that increase of the cost of the product will include in for the time which we supplied that i am asking sorry sir sir uh, 
Uh, sir, can you able to hear me? I am able to hear you. Uh, sir, will the product which is will the brand of the product will increase the demand of the consumers? The brand which release the product. Uh, do one thing. Uh, somebody is uh, uh, no ringing the bell. I'll just go and see what the, who is. Uh, uh, you please type and send in the chat message your question. I'll be able to answer. Uh, be very clear in your question so that I can understand and answer. Sorry. Oh, quality of uh, product, availability of the product, or the demand of the product. That's okay. Where is the question here? Yeah. Where is the question that we have been trying to answer? People are still typing or what? When new product is introduced, something like that they said, but I could not understand fully. So I think uh, he said uh, whether the time of the product release it affects the factor of the production or the factor affects the thing. That's what he asked. It. That's okay, but I'm not able to understand what you speak. I only understand you are speaking. That is largely due to either. last one, two months. Uh, I'm using earphone from morning till night. Somebody or other calling me or talking because of uh, this examination activity. My ears are gone, I suppose. So can you please type your questions? Sir, they are asking whether the time affects the pro demand of the product, sir. Oh, time affects the demand of the product. That's not the question. Uh, time definitely affects the demand of the pro product. But they said uh, at the time of uh, uh, introducing something they were trying to ask. Uh, whoever spoke now, I'm able to hear. But that's not what they asked. The original question was something different. Release date of the product depends on value of the product. What does that mean? Gauri Shankar. Yes, sir. I was the one who is asking the question. Yeah, I understand that. But the, your uh, question is not clear. Release date of the product. Not I'm asking that. If uh, at some time a product is released. See, re releasing a particular product and the demand for that particular time is a you know one time activity kind of but generally a demand for a product uh, you know of course if it is like a movie or if it is like a new automobile model uh, all that affects the uh, demand for that particular product during the launch of the time but i don't know whether that is what you are trying to ask or something else so Yes, sir. sir. Almost the same. Ah? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. Okay. You continue, sir. Uh, la. Fine. Okay. Sir, 
the brand ah. of the product the brand the, which releases the the brand which releases the uh, product will affect yeah brand. brand image brand image of the uh, uh, you know company uh, which releases that product definitely affects the uh, demand for that product good so yeah giving complimentary go to the product yeah compliment that you give uh affects the product if there are free bees along with the product people will try to buy more very good anything else some more sir sir yeah uh, sir the place where they are uh, releasing the product uh, come again sir the place the place where they are uh, releasing the product the place, place. Yes, sir. Uh, it's village or yes, sir ah uh, okay yeah uh, the place where it is being sold also will affect the uh, uh, you know the sale of the product good sir advertising uh, the... yeah two people started but none of them finished i suppose ah uh, sir advertising sir advertisement people already told marketing advertisement how will we promote it okay sir uh, sir it may be uh, availability of raw material Availi availability of raw material will not affect the product but that will affect the supply for demand okay. we are talking about the demand factors affecting the demand so what are okay. all the factors uh, that will affect my products demand Fear of production. To sell that, so make it available in the market. That is a different issue. That is supply. Sir, that in, we will see. Sir, in some experience. of the people. Sorry. Sir, in some of the people. Of the people, I am able to hear, but prefix to that, I am not able to hear. The income. Income, ah, income sir. Definitely, very good. Income level of the uh, people definitely affect. Sir, even the climate depends, right? Sri Kumar and already put that price and affordability of the uh, product. Actually, affordability comes because of the income. Sir, even budget of the people. Sorry. Budget, budget of the people. How much they want yeah, to buy that's it? That's what basically budget of the people, affordability, uh, income, uh, all. Uh, it's all same thing, isn't it? Sir, the climate. Climate. yeah climatic condition also affects some of the seasonal products good very good so we have already generated all the points i suppose so what powerpoint has to say for us uh where is it oh my god Okay, it is there. Yeah. From the current state. Yeah. Determinants of demand. You see, price of the substitutes also affect the demand. uh we will talk about what is substitute uh, what is complement in couple of minute in fact that is the rest of the slide uh price of the substitutes also affect the demand for my product for example uh, i am selling a phone you know i am selling um, motorola uh, company cell phone my competitor is uh, selling tata phones suppose tata phones is giving the same telephones with the same features with half of my price people will naturally go and buy tata phones people will not come to me to buy a motorola phone motorola phone and tata phone are substitutes okay so because people go and buy the substitute the demand for my product will come down there is nothing fault in my product except that the price is little high uh, so the price of the substitutes affects the demand for my product 
price of complementary goods um i don't have i mean uh complementary goods means uh, you know in tamil nadu hotels you, you go you order for a paratha or chapati they bring along with the side dish i happen to work in kerala whenever i go to hotels in most of the hotels in kerala you order for a chapati only chapati will come that you have to order the side dish uh, separately whether it is vegetable curry or any non vegetarian curry you have to order it separately they are complementary goods meaning i cannot eat chapati alone with uh, empty uh, with plain chapati without any uh, curry added to it you know the paratha will be only 10 rupees or uh, um, chapati will be only 10 rupees or 15 rupees curry will be 90 rupees or 80 rupees if the price of the complementary good is high i may not uh, take uh, paratha or chapati because side dish cost is very high okay i can give an another very good example but that's not parliamentary so we don't uh, we reserve that example for personal discussion price of complementary goods is very high uh, then the demand for the chapati or paratha is less rather i may uh, go for uh, rice or i may go for idli or something like that where complementary goods uh, are coming with less cost or at free of cost so complementary goods are the goods which come up, come along with it not that uh, substitute is different we'll discuss about the substitute and complementary goods in a minute after completing this determinants of demand consumer income you people already said if i i have more income i will have more money i can afford and buy things advertising and marketing just because of advertising and marketing there are many product that survive in the market uh, not because of the value that it has or not because of the utility that it has population uh, if the if the, the demand will be high if i am able to sell in a country or in a place where population is high that's why for entire world india and china are the big market places because our population is very high also it is very dense um, you go to some countries the population itself will be very less the houses will be located one here one there one there if the population itself is less naturally you cannot have a bigger demand in those countries so population is directly related to the demand that i can produce the the demand i can generate in a country consumer preferences they have their own preferences uh, for example uh, my dad always says Uh, i use only that old synthol soap because i am using for 30 years same soap same soap means uh, same brand soap uh, consumer <laughs> preferences you cannot change it there may be a better soap available in the market uh, people don't change they, they have some something but consumer preferences so that product has established uh, its brand image in the minds of the people it becomes their preference then you know the demand for that product remains it may be due to quality it may be due to fashion it may be due to anything else or uh, marketing there are products they people buy because of uh, the the actor will be the favorite one for them and not because of the product uh, because of advertising and marketing that's that's because of advertising and marketing because of advertising and marketing you can make that that as a consumer preference okay right they are related of course and expected future price of the goods what is expected future price of the goods we are now in a lockdown period you know we don't know when it will be closed when it will be open all that suppose the chief minister of tamil nadu is uh, saying coming friday onwards another uh, round of uh, lockdown for 15 days then the vegetable price and grocery item price will suddenly shoot up why we know after lockdown it is very difficult to get those things so people will try to predict the price it's going to be high let us buy now itself they go and buy because people go and buy now the demand for those items are high okay 
so the expected future price of the goods is a big determinant of the demand taxes and subsidies i am from pondicherry if you are not aware of it people around the around the state uh, it's an union territory now it has been made as a state another separate state but uh, when it was union territory we enjoyed lot of tax and subsidiary benefits um, uh, subsidiary it is I, i think there is a, a typo over there uh, so uh, people around uh, pondicherry will come to pondicherry uh, and uh, they take the liquor i i always uh, wonder why always these people come to pondicherry and drink because the price i came to know later the price of uh, the goods Uh, the liquor and other stuff is ha- almost half of the price in pondicherry compared to the tamil nadu price because the taxes laid on those products are less in pondicherry whereas in tamil nadu the taxes for such products are very high also i find many people other than pondicherry will come to pondicherry give fake address and buy automobiles especially costly cars that's because Uh, they their taxes in the pondicherry is less so people will tend to save money by paying less taxes in pondicherry giving a fake address for a own use of course if it is for uh, commercial use i think that won't make much difference but for own use a white board right so these are all some of the points i have uh, listed and many points you people have told gather to them when you write in the exam suppose if this kind of questions comes in the exam try to put these points in the beginning because there is no wrong answer for this uh, determinants of demand there will be some stronger points there will be some weaker points some points that you have told may be uh, indirectly related to determinants of demand i would have said yes okay there are some points which directly affect the demand you know the, you know the point strength of the point will be high in the examination you should write those good points first because if you write uh, some indirectly uh, factors which is indirectly affecting the demand first the evaluator will think that this fellow has given some gas blown some gas into it and not very uh, you know good answers so you tend to score less so whenever you attempt exam write to try to give these points in the beginning add the other good points other people told in the Uh, bottom okay so keep that order in mind for scoring purpose of course now consumer income is it time 36 only okay consumer income how the consumer income will affect the demand suppose the, i take a normal good there will be an increase in income for me okay the seventh pay implemented my salary got um, increased by a greater amount you are able to see my presentation yes sir yes sir yes sir consumer income the consumer income uh, slide you are able to see No sir, we are able to no, see sir. points. Sir. No, sir. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From current slide. No oh, God. You are seeing some slide uh, which is there's a problem in the problem with your teacher, lad. teacher doesn't know how to project it properly yeah uh, yes consumer income the salary of a person increases earlier i used to buy let's say a normal coconut oil okay or normal rice uh, for my uh, you know lunch i buy normal rice i think not in the sorry slide is not visible not visible eh? very good um so i have projected for me i think it should be on the way so it is visible it has come is it visible now yes yes sir ah, yeah good okay 
because I am seeing a border line. Normally, the border line comes means uh, the projection is right. Okay. So the uh, there is an increase in the income. I used to buy normal rice. I got normal good. What will happen to the uh, the demand when the consumer income increases? When consumer income increases, there will be an increase in demand for a good product. What is meant by good product in terms of rice? Uh, you may have something called, uh, you know, the normal rice that you have, and you will also have something called uh, organic rice. You heard of term organic rice? Yes, sir. Yeah. Organic rice. Uh, uh, if uh, normal rice is uh, 50 rupees per kilogram, organic rice will be 60 rupees, 75 rupees, sometimes even more of same brand, same variety of rice. It is organically grown. That's all. Okay. So uh, people feel it is a good product. It's good for the health. People feel. Um, because uh, no artificial fertilizers are used, so it is good for the health so that they use. So what will happen to the organic rice demand? Because people are able to afford now for a better product, they tend to buy organic rice or organic products. So the demand for such product will increase. What will happen to the inferior goods my salary increased earlier i was in i was buying ordinary rice now i switched from ordinary rice to organic rice so the demand for the ordinary rice now decreased because of increase in my salary so increase in income increases the demand for good products or superior products increase in income decreases the demand for inferior goods inferior products is that clear yes, any sir. questions yes, sir. okay uh, we said we will talk about uh, related goods uh, substitutes and complements i have pepsi coca cola I have purposely avoided the brand uh, uh, because I do not want to advertise uh, the, these brands. They, they are not our uh, country drinks. We should not drink both of them. I, I would call it as blue color drink and red color drink. <laughs> okay. Um, just to explain what is substitute. Suppose if uh, Pepsi price drops, that uh, if the... Uh, price of Pepsi drops, the demand for Coca-Cola will go down. Why? People will not drink Coca-Cola. They will go and drink Pepsi. The price is less. If that is the uh, you know kind of scenario in the market, then Pepsi and Coca-Cola, both of them are called substitutes. Because I, either I can drink Pepsi or I can drink Coca-Cola. I don't have any personal preferences. In that case, if one price drops, I will go for the one which is having lower price. So the other one demand will naturally go down. This kind of products, a bundle of products are called, it need not be only two, it can be a you know bundle of many. These kind of products are called substitutes. Complement means I buy one and I am forced to buy its the counterpart. For example, if I am buying bread, I cannot eat bread alone. Either I have to buy butter or I have to buy jam or I have to make something in the home and eat along with some vegetables so that I can make some sandwich, whatever it is. The, the item which is accompanying that bread are all complements. So when, when the demand for bread goes high that means i have a bakery i am selling lot of bread it implies that i am increasing the demand for butter or jam or some veggies that goes along with the bread so these products combination 
bread and butter, bread and jam. These things are called complements. They complement each other. Suppose I buy jam alone. I cannot eat, eat jam alone. I need either uh, bread or chapati or uh, some other um, kind of the plain item on which I apply the jam and eat. Very rarely we consume jam as such. So these products or product combinations to be very price, uh, precise are called complements. Law of diminishing utility. I think with that we will close today's lecture. Suppose you know your mom is making your favorite uh, sweet item in the home. Uh, you might have enjoyed this during this lockdown period. Long time you are in your home. <clears throat> Sometimes the people would have, uh, you know, had an opportunity to eat some of the homemade sweets of your favorite uh, sweet. Your dish is being made, and you know, before even it is completely done, you, what you do? You go and take a piece of cake and eat, piece of sweet and eat. It is very delicious, very nice. You enjoy the most, and then you go see for it, uh, see TV for some time, or once in a while you come attend a engineering, man, you know, industrial engineering and management class. Go back to the kitchen again, take the second piece of. Uh, that's what you do, isn't it? You take a second piece of uh, sweet, eat. Still, it tastes good. Third piece, fourth piece, fifth. When you go next, next sweet. The amount of joy and enjoyment that you receive, the taste uh, feeling that you get, keep on reducing. When you, when same sweet on the same day, the tenth piece of cake, if you are able to eat, you don't feel as good as you felt when you ate the first piece of cake. Do you agree with me? Yes, yes sir. sir. This idea is framed in the form of a law and it is called law of diminishing marginal utility. Utility means the benefit that you get. Marginal utility means the extra benefit that you get. Marginal means extra. Diminishing means reducing. Reducing extra benefit that you get is the more and more the products you dump on the market then what market can consume, actually people will start hating that particular product. That's very important. As a product, if you are a dollar, if you are producing some product, you should send product to the market only what market can consume. If you produce more because you have more production capacity and dump it in the market, people will start developing aversion in spite of your advertisement, your good nature of the product, uh, in spite of everything, people will tempt to uh, re uh, consume less. This law is called law of diminishing marginal utility. Today we have seen what is demand, law of demand, demand curve, determinants of demand, and uh, we discussed substitutes and complements. That's all for today. I request you to be present for the attendance and for an important announcement. Yeah, so.